As you referenced, though, this is not just a U.S.-China thing at all. In fact, one of the things I think it's cool and inspiring is that intellectual and capacity leadership in this area is going to come from all, all different corners of the world. Um, and you and I, you, you and I have talked a lot, and and you know my particular um, enthusiasm uh, for. India for its role in the world, for its role in the innovation ecosystem, and I think in this domain, India has so much to offer uh, the world. First of all, by dint of the intellectual capital in this in this country, the emerging economic throw weight, which is you know so so significant, um, and by the success that you've had. By the way, you pointed this out to me. I've stolen this talking point from you, so I have to I have to uh, footnote you here. How inspired India will be by its success in the digital stack initiatives, yeah. and creating open data commons, and having you know a very kind of well governed programmatic approach to innovation. I think that's going to be a signature dimension of India's contribution to the generative AI revolution, and so I'm very excited to see that play out here. Look, you've got um, countries like England, uh, who have a lot of um, academic leadership in this area. Um, the EU, France in particular, I think has a, a legacy and history and in intellectual resources um, and capital resources that will be important here. Both of those taking leading roles around this effort of around the the quest to regulate appropriately this this new technology. Um, then, as you said, there's a series of people with particular technology edges like Netherlands, South Korea, Taiwan, etc., who are going to play important roles. Um, and then there's you. You have these interesting other eccentric, but powerful nations like the United Arab Emirates, yep. who've been a leader creating their own um, very, very capable and impressive open source model in Falcon. They've done really important work in, you know, Arabic large language models. Um, they're investing prolifically. So again, I think it's a global phenomenon, and in, and I hope um, while it. Well, I talked about it as a nexus or an axis for competition in the world. I also hope it has a kind of unifying、um, impact on the world and on nation states as well.